Garmin Drive 52 paper map mode. Ordinarily, when you're navigating, it looks like this. But how do you make it look like a paper map, as in a printed map? Like if you were reading a road atlas, like a, make it look like a miniature road atlas of sorts. Well, these are the steps in order to do this on the Drive 52. First of all, go to Settings, and then go to Map and Vehicle. Scroll down a little bit, turn off the Auto Zoom. So it says disabled. On this on this same page, back up. Go to North Up View for driving map view. And that's that. And then when you're viewing it, this is the nice part about this. You see up here it says 120 feet. Now if I back up, we'll just say 300 feet. The nice part about having it in this view with the zoom off, that's the important part, <clears throat> excuse me, is that this essentially now acts just like a paper map, except it moves along as you move along. And if you bring up your turns list, so if I, I did that by hitting this triple dot menu and then turns, so I have, if you need the, the turns list, that's how you do it. But we'll keep that off. This is how you go about doing this so that you have a paper map like view and that does not zoom in and zoom out constantly depending on where you're turning, which can mess some people up. My recommended way of using this mode is to not have the turns list but the trip data with specifically this right now you can modify any one of these three fields I just have the middle one set to let me just find it here time to turn which shows up as turn in here because when you don't have the turns list on and you're zoomed in tight like this to a 300 foot uh, distance yeah, you need a little more indication. I mean, yeah, you do have the distance over here. True. This is the distance to the next turn. This is the total distance to the destination. This is distance to next turn. But you need this as a little more of an indicator. Well, let's do this, actually. Stop. And I will pick... Oh, what should I search for? I know. Publix. That's a supermarket, by the way. Okay, we need to pick one that has some distance to it. There we go. And a little further. How far can we go? Yeah, Palm Harbor. It looks like a good one to go to. we go and notice that the zoom did not change <clears throat> excuse me because I have the auto zoom turned off now with this one if I turned on the turns list okay so it's telling me to go on 19 north and I think it's just a straight shot up 19 let me take a look at that yeah it's just straight up 19 that's what I thought let me take a look at that again. So Clearwater, oh yeah, past Dunedin, past Oldsmar, yep, up to Palm Harbor. Basically right smack in the middle of Palm Harbor. But anyway, sorry. You have your turns list here. That's all well and good, but when I have the trip data, it takes up less space. I do get more map which is important when you're zoomed in tight like this. Let's, let me back up a little bit. Okay, 500 feet. Actually, let me, how tight can you go? You can get down to 50 feet. That is crazy that you can zoom in that close. Like if you're doing city driving, real tight turn city driving or something like that, that's nice that you can get in that close. Too close for me. 
at bare minimum I would have excuse me the tightest I would go is uh, 120 but for me between 200 and 500 foot um, in this view yeah I like that that's good and I said city driving a moment ago that is where this works best is that if you are in a city environment with lots of little side streets all over the place as a matter of fact what I would probably do is set the settings map and vehicle the map detail to I usually leave it on normal I would do more specifically so that when I zoom in tight I see more street names like this one that's I believe that's an alley right there yeah that's an alley which is why there's no street name on it yeah let me back up just a little bit 80 foot yeah 80 feet it's nice seeing this information as I'm driving along okay especially if I was in a really deep city environment and I need to know where what streets are coming up that's just nice uh, 80 foot to me again a little too tight for me 120 that's as tight as I would be comfortable doing at least on a 5 inch model works out quite nice Anyway, let me set that back to the way I had it. Just to normal. I might as well show what happens if you go uh, to less. Now, when in tight, not much changes, but when you zoom out, get the point five. Yeah, when you get, oh, point three, sorry. Point two is when you start seeing detail usually on for most areas but when you go back to point three or I'll just go to half a mile the map clears up significantly which for some people yeah they want that I want the map to not zoom in or out at all and I want it to look like a paper map which it does right now and I don't want I want the least amount of clutter this is how you do it on the 52 and when zoomed out far yeah oh i'm glad that happened see when i have full map and just nothing there i can see the turn sooner that is true but when i have the turns list if i'm zoomed out far well, let's go actually all the way up to 1.2 mile yeah then it's to me it's okay to have the turns up at that point but my favorite way to use this mode is with trip data on and like a 300 yeah I'll do three okay for me 200 would work best because I can see the major streets here it's got color differentiation between major roads and minor roads I like that and I know how much time it's going to take until the next turn and I know what direction the next turn will be in which is going to be a left and that means I'm going to be turning up okay not up I'll be turning north north on 19 and then straight up to Palm Harbor and to the Publix so yeah that works out but anyway that just to go and recap over this I went to settings first went to map and vehicle oh let me set that back to normal and then um, I'll start over settings first map and vehicle down turned off auto zoom so this is not checked and then I went to the driving map view and I changed that to a north up you could use track up if you wanted to that just puts your position always up and the map turns with you and then you get this arrow where uh, I believe the red side is the always north side I think okay so there's that but keep it as north up for me anyway and then I start a route and then I set my zoom with the plus and minus zoom and mind your um, zoom distance if you turn off the um, uh, what's it called the trip data then it goes up here so it was here and then it moves up here but if it's on the trip data then it goes down here okay fine 
And speaking of trip data, and the last thing I did is I have at least one of these fields set to turn in. So I know without touching any buttons at all how much time until the next turn. And that's it. Paper map view. More or less. On a drive 52.